April Student of the Month. And then a first-hand account of why you should participate in this year's Mock Shooter Drill. All today on On The Air. Oh, what's up? I'm your host with the most, B. Haig. This is my co-host, Adrian Burns. He doesn't talk much. This senior, Dallas Heil, earned the April Student of the Month. The teachers who nominated him cited some of the many accomplishments he's had this year, and especially this spring, such as earning the chance to compete in the Nationals of BPA in the three categories, being part of the robotics team who competed last week in St. Louis at the World Champions, and being 14th in his class and taking many AP and dual credit classes. Congratulations, Dallas, on earning the RHS Student of the Month for April. The last time a drill such as this was done here at RHS, it was in 2006, nine years ago. But Joey Carr was able to find out at least one teacher who was here and participated in it. That's right. We met up with Mr. Stokel to see how the experience was for him nine years ago in this hallway as a hostage. Uh, I was in the hostage room, which was quite interesting, and I also portrayed an injured teacher who had been shot in the leg and had to be moved by the firemen. It's part of the evacuation. I thought it provided very useful information to all the agencies involved. Students had to get into different rooms they weren't part of because it was during a passing period. Uh, I thought everyone handled it very well and they did practice evacuation for the, the people that were deemed to be wounded. And I think it provided very useful information for all, all parties involved. Remember to sign up. Have a nice day. Back to you guys in the studio. Now let's take a look at the announcements. Dot, dot, dot. There's still time to sign up to earn money and learn something about starting your own business this summer. And that's where we start. It's time to get signed up for Boss Technologies this summer. The program runs from June 2nd through the 9th from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. each day. You'll learn about how to start your own business and use today's technologies to market your products or services. The best you get paid while you participate. To find out more and sign up, pick up an application from Ms. Selm or Ms. Reynolds. You can also get an application from the Career Education Office across from the cafeteria. Deadline for applications is May 13th. Also, you'll be a senior next year and are planning on being in a cooperative education program. There is a job opening for a bank teller through West End Bank. This is a part-time position and you'll work some of the time right here at their branch by the cafeteria as well as at some of their other branches in Richmond. If you're interested, see Ms. Reynolds. If you signed up for summer school classes, remember you're not officially registered until you've paid your fees. Summer school fees are being handed out now, and you can pay the fees before or after school in the main office. Make plans to see the annual Devilette Showcase. It starts at 7 p.m. tonight and is an entertaining evening of dancing, choreography, and fun. Tickets are $6 and are available from any Devilette or at the door. And if you're planning on trying out for Devilettes, clinics start next week for anyone trying out. If interested, see Ms. Reynolds. It's time again to sign up for the driver's training. The next driver's education class is scheduled to start on June 2nd. There's a mandatory parent meeting on Wednesday, May 13th at 5.30 p.m. in RHS cafeteria. Cost for the class is $390 with $100 due at sign up. Today's the last day to turn in your senior ad for the yearbook. If you want to create a lasting message in print, pick up an order form in the main office and turn it in by the end of the day to Mr. Gabbard. And finally, the local Amigos Latino Center in Richmond is holding their annual Dia del Nino Children's Day tomorrow. This is a free event to celebrate Richmond's diverse culture. It's this Saturday, May 2nd, at the Boys and Girls Club from 4 to 7 p.m. This is a free event for children and all ages and adults. Also, any RHS soccer player who would like to help out at Dia Del Nino by showing off their soccer skills and teaching kids ages 3 to 14 need to see Mr. Haynes in his room, R207, by the end of the week. Be a hero to the kids of Richmond. Volunteer an hour of your time at Dia Del Nino this weekend. That's your announcements. Back to you guys. Get ready for a great weekend. Let's get the complete Red Devil forecast. Dot, dot, dot. Expect sunny, clear skies today and tomorrow. As it start to warm up for today and tomorrow, we have a high of 70 and a low of 46. It should be cloudy.
tomorrow, but however, still sunny and still hot with a high of 72 and a low of 48. That's your weather, guys. Have a great weekend. Let's check in with Terry's for a quick look at sports. Dot, dot, dot. Softball wins and a wild finish and baseball takes a loss against the Spartans. Wednesday night, Richmond couldn't shake the Union County Patriots until the 6th and 7th innings when they were able to score eight runs. The girls rallied to win a 12-7 wild game. Also, Wednesday night, the baseball team couldn't keep the Connorsville Spartans from scoring in the seventh inning. Connorsville gets this victory 6-4 against the Red Devils. The Red Devils play Huntington North in the North Central Conference doubleheader Saturday at McBride. And that's your sports. Back to you guys in the studio. That's the show. Make sure you're here for the Devil at Showcase tonight. Have a great day.